everyone, Joel Lance here, and today I am in Johnson, basically Providence, Rhode Island, outside Hometown Pizza. Yes, Hometown Pizza. You're gonna do their Hot Wiener Challenge. So, this is a $250 Hot Wiener Challenge. So, for the uh, record, which is a record challenge, we have 30 minutes, yes, 30 minutes to eat 20 hot wieners. Now, what is a hot wiener? Hot wiener is a very signature Rhode Island thing. It is a specially made wiener of veal and pork. It is then served with mustard, a signature ground beef sauce, onions, and celery salt. So pretty much it's just as straightforward as that. 20 wieners in 30 minutes. I, again, the record is 19. You have to eat 20 to beat the record. I'm not going to go higher unless the gentleman will give more cash to go higher. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll leave it at 20 so it's attainable, I think, if anybody wants to come on by and try it. Um, but that being said, like I said, I don't know, maybe I'll ask the guy. I'll be like, what if somebody can eat 30 or 40? And then if you do more cash, I'll do it. But otherwise, like I said, we'll leave it at 20. Totally cool. Um, but yeah, so anyway, let's have, let's have some food. I want to thank you guys for telling me about this challenge. And that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, really unique hot wiener slash hot dog challenge. 30 minutes, 20 hot dogs, $250 cash prize. The meal is 25 bucks. I think it is free if you beat it. Um, and that's about it. So let's head in and let's eat food. All right, everyone. So here we are with all the hot wieners. We have the 20 in front of us. So this is the record, given the previous record being 19. Um, so yeah, we did pay $25 for the meal. We do get that reimbursed if uh, we complete it. And then we get $250. $250 if we win, correct? So now, Rick, if somebody could eat 40 hot dogs, would that be a $500 prize today? Uh, we would see. We would see. We we're not going to commit to anything at this point. How? Well, okay. Well, I don't know. Then. We'll have I mean, to, let's, we'll we're to trying see. to break the record. We're not trying to... Okay. But hypothetically, if somebody could eat 40 in 30 minutes, is it worth 500 Uh, It might be. I just worry about somebody getting sick and the liability. Okay. If they didn't throw up, would it be worth 500 uh, No. <laughs> Nobody gets sick and throws up right away. Come on, later. Okay. Well, there you go. So that is an interesting thing. Um, but anyway, guys, so like you said, 30 minutes to complete the hot dogs. Um, so yeah, let's uh, have some fun, let's eat food, and uh, we'll get started here just momentarily. Real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being Tokyo Treat and Securico. Tokyo Treat is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box where you'll get 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Securico is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box where you will receive 20 traditional and authentic artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas, one special Japanese tableware every month and Securico actually partners with local Japanese snack makers to continue to share the Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed down through hundreds of years through snacks. So the theme of this month's Tokyo Treat Box is Snack and Shabuya. It's piled with your pop culture snacks from all around downtown Tokyo, such as Kit Kat pudding and strong cola jumbo ramoon candies. And then the Securico theme of the month is Taste of Hokkaido. So you have everything from fresh authentic Hokkaido teas to delights. My personal favorite is the sweet corn chocolate. Mm. Each box also has a cultural guide booklet, which tells you what the snacks are all about, what's in it, and uh, just some general really cool information about Japan and the culture. And so right now you can save $5 off your first Securico or Tokyo Treat box by using the code JOEL. Yes, that's right. You can save $5 through clicking that link down below, but you only have until May 31st to get this month's box, so act quick. Now we can start, we'll save the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. Thank you. Mm. Good taste of wiener. I like the beef sauce. Very tasty, actually. 
Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we are here at Hometown Pizza in Johnson, Rhode Island. So like I said, basically Providence slash North Providence. Here taking on this giant hot wiener challenge. So like we said, hot wieners, very specialty thing to Rhode Island. And you can't go to Providence without getting a coffee milk. Yes, it is a coffee flavored milk. Kind of like chocolate milk, but coffee flavored. And having a hot wiener, which again is kind of like a specialty hot dog. Um, served with meat sauce, mustard, celery salt, and onions. Uh, I really like them. Kind of similar to a coney dog in a lot of places. The meat sauce is not like a chili per se. It's a lot more like a ground beef. Um, but that being said, super delicious, no complaints. And again, here we are enjoying, a, well, 20, 20 of the Rhode Island specialty to be specific. I think the seasoning's really like... The beef sauce and the seasons really make it. So this is definitely a straightforward challenge. Again, it is a record challenge. So if you beat the record, you do get a $250 cash prize. To try this challenge, it is a $25 flat fee. So you don't pay, you know, like let's say 2 or $3 per hot dog. Um, you do pay a $25 flat fee. And there you go. On your way. Um, 30 minute time limit to uh, complete the challenge and the old record of 19 had stood for I believe the gentleman said about eight years so definitely a long standing record there have been a number of attempts but no one was able to eat these 20 hot wieners within the 30 minutes so here I was again in the quest of that 250 hoping we could eat the 20 I also have some ketchup here as well should I need that Start with some ketchup. <clears throat> it's a good addition. A little bit of sweetness on it, rich and savory. That's why the mustard's really nice as well. It's acidic, so it adds. It kind of cuts some of the richness of the wiener and the beef stock. So hot wieners are available at a lot of like different Rhode Island restaurants. Um, both some like specializing in hot wieners, some specializing in pizza and all the above. Like this place being a pizza place, although they said they sell probably more hot wieners than pizzas, um, which I can see why they're really really good. Um, but they all have their own spin on like the meat sauce. You know what I mean? So everywhere you go is a little different. I guess the hot wieners all come from the one supplier, the one location, but. Again, that signature meat sauce, the seasonings, the spices, the mustard they use, that all impacts and really makes each place's hot wieners unique. Um, and like I said, I liked this style on, uh, of meat sauce they had going. We're five minutes in. Mm. I will say, I am enjoying them. You can't come to uh, Rhode Island without having wieners. Alright, so that was 12. We have 8 more. Do you want to see me eat more than 20 or just leave it at 20? Leave it at 20. Leave it at 20. <coughs> Good stuff. Well, let's keep on trucking, guys. Here we are. 
So a hot wiener, it does taste, again, very comparable to a hot dog, and it essentially is a hot dog, just a kind of hot dog, but it is a little different. I want to say they, um, the casing is a little softer. Well, I shouldn't say that. Hot dogs vary in casing. But these have, they do have a soft casing, but they're usually incredibly juicy. Like, you bite into that, and you get a big explosion of fat. Um, fat, juice, flavor. Uh, it is definitely quite enjoyable, and most notably, and they're eaten kind of like an after bar food, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, late night, super greasy, kind of, you know, that kind of style thing. Um, but yeah, besides that, pretty straightforward. Um, if anybody's in the area, um, let me know if uh, what you think of these hot wieners, or let me know your favorite, I guess, hot wiener location down below. And I know we're talking a lot about wieners, and there's a lot of wiener conversation today, but know that it's not what she said. We're just talking about Providence, you know, Providence, Rhode Island, Rhode Island's hot wieners, that kind of wiener. So, like I said, at that, let's get to the rest of the video. Only a hot wiener. You can get them like super hot, super fresh. Definitely, that's what the best is got. Now we're just over nine minutes in. So the counter's going down and I mixed up there a minute ago. But then we got three minutes left. No complaints. And the current record actually stood for like, I think about eight years. It's pretty impressive. There's a lot of wieners.
Onions? Onions. I do like onions. Anyway, everybody, we finished up there. I'll be about 11 minutes, 20, I don't know, 24, 25 seconds, something like that. So definitely enjoyed those. I really do like hot wieners when I come to Rhode Island, guys. Like I said, a very traditional, kind of classic thing. The old pork, unique wiener, made only at one location, I guess. And then, of course, um, the different restaurants, such as here, they have their own signature meat sauce, etc., etc. I um, really like the flavor still, guys. It was really delicious. So that we get the meal for free, which is pretty cool. We had $250. And... Um, yeah, we got, I think maybe we're going to end up on this great big poster wall thing right there, which is pretty cool, guys. So, like I said, a really nice place. I want to thank, um, name is slipping me right now, but one of the uh, uh, individuals, you, one of you, yes, one of you guys messaged me on Facebook and told me about this challenge, so I really appreciate that. Always love hearing from you guys, whether it be via Instagram, Facebook, etc. All the links are down in the description. Of course, if you also want to copy yourself some merch, such as... The awesome feast mode sweater. Yeah, uh, you can yeah. check that at joeleats.com. But that everyone, like I said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely a really enjoyable meal. I really liked it. Um, they only wanted to do 20 day, which is totally cool. Keep that uh, table for everybody else. But uh, yeah, guys, that was about it. So of course, till next time. Hope you eat. Well, that's about it. Maybe we'll show you some more Rhode Island. And um, with that, of course, I'm happy, hungry, happy eating. And basically, I know that was really good. I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed that. So have a lovely day. Alright everyone, so I'm heading home, but real quick, the last time I had an iced coffee was in Massachusetts, and this time I'm having an iced coffee in Massachusetts, thanks to Cumberland Farms. Why? Because they have the decaf um, iced coffee, so that's pretty cool, and yeah, so I just deck it out with some sweetener. I did put a, um, they still, interestingly, uh, had a pumpkin spice creamer. I remember liking it last time. Admittingly, I put it in here this time. I'm not digging it as much, but nonetheless, guys, there you go. I have documented both, probably the only two times of an iced coffee in the last like five, oof, eight years, probably something like that. So last time was in the last Boston video, I think, and this time is wherever. So yeah, Massachusetts, Joel and iced coffee seems to be a thing. Alright everyone, and then something that I've been wanting to try, just because, why not, it's unique, is this Coca-Cola Starlight. So I got a Coca-Cola Zero Starlight. So this is apparently space flavored. I know that will focus on focus in there. Space flavored. Let's try it one more time. One more time, focus. There you go. Space flavored. So I guess we're going to taste the galaxy, we're going to taste outer space. I always like to try different like Coke flavors and unique kind of sodas that come out. America has so many of these unique limited edition sodas that came out. Recently I tried the um, Mountain Dew Spark. It was like a like pink lemonade flavored Mountain Dew. Honestly, my favorite Mountain Dew I've had. I've gotten to try a lot of them. I never tried the ones that are, come out in full sugar, so I didn't get to try the gingerbread one or uh, there's an orange one I didn't get to try. Um, there's probably one or two other ones. But I gotta try like the Major Melon, whatever. Which wasn't bad, but my favorite so far actually is the Spark. Um, but yeah, so, let us open this on up. The color is pink, I don't know if you can kind of say it. It's kind of like a very light pink, light dark. But uh, yeah, what else is crazy is these 20 ounce bottles, this is more expensive than a two liter, which is ridiculous, but they really get you at it. So, let's give it a try. Oh wow. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I got a burp. Excuse me. Okay, not at all was I was what I was expecting. Like not at all, at all what I was expecting. My favorite kind of Coke for reference is. A uh, cherry vanilla. They make it. It's really good. Okay. So. The only other influence I've had of this is um, 
Dame Drop said he gets kind of, kind of a cotton candy with it. So I get a bit of a cotton candy taste. But it's a lot lighter flavor than I expected. It's very lightly flavored. Like, arguably, I'd feel like it tastes watered down. But the main flavor I'm actually getting. So I don't get, I get 0% Coke flavor. I get about 20% cotton candy ice cream flavor. But it's funny I mentioned that gingerbread um, Mountain Dew because I almost get like a gingerbready baked good cinnamony flavor. Okay, not what I'd expect, to be honest. I like it a lot less than also I expect it. It's not that it's bad, but it tastes watery. It's kind of ready pink. Watery, a little cotton candy, cotton candy, -y. there you go, and gingerbready. Really unique. Not bad, but not what I expected, and I wouldn't buy it again. So, anyway, they almost three dollars for this bottle. It was not worth it. But we got to try Coca Cola Starlight. So, there you go, guys. Hope you got to enjoy it with me.